New tonight at 5. For the first time, we are seeing what happened inside the Clark County, Indiana jail on the night at the center of two federal lawsuits. Sheriff Jamie Knoll released this surveillance video claiming it tells a different story. After this incident last October, multiple sexual assault allegations have surfaced against the jail. According to the lawsuits, women alleged hours of attacks, rapes and threats. 28 women represented in two separate suits came forward. They claim male inmates paid a former corrections officers $1,000 in exchange for keys to the female side of the jail. In response to the event, the Clark County Sheriff there, Sheriff Noel, confirmed his office is investigating alongside the FBI and the U.S. Marshals and added that he'd work swiftly to fight back at once he, what he's calling lies. WHAS 11's Connor Steffen has been going through that video all day and talking to lawyers. Connor, did the sheriff say why he released the video? Uh, well, Shay and Doug, the sheriff launched his new website. It's not clear yet. Um, exactly what could come next, but he did say that uh, ClarkFacts.com just days ago was released in his words to quote, bust those myths and show the community the truth. Myth busting in Clark County, written boldly atop the blog style page ClarkFacts.com. The newly launched site is Sheriff Jamie Knoll's first attempts at combating quote, lying lawyers, lying political operatives, and lying criminals. All stemming from that incident last October, a former corrections officer on his way out of the jail accused of accepting a bribe from male inmates in exchange for keys and access into the female inmates block. Stephen Wagner represents several of the alleged victims claiming sexual assault and rape. He shared his thoughts on the page. I've been handling civil rights cases and other litigation for 26 years and I've never seen a, a PR stunt like this. Larry Wilder representing the sheriff's office sees it differently. This is against conventional wisdom. Conventional wisdom is, is that you're supposed to say nothing and do nothing when you're being sued in these kind of cases. It's time to stand up and it's time to debunk. Amongst the four alleged lies currently listed on the website, one that the incident took place over multiple hours, Sheriff Nolan instead suggests it was closer to 40 minutes. In an attempt to back up these claims, close to one minute of surveillance video has been posted to the site so far. The first of the videos depicting male inmates entering the female communal area the night the alleged sexual assaults took place. The second one, with a timestamp of 20 minutes later, shows male inmates with towels around their heads exiting that female block. Plaintiff attorney Steve Wagner saying in response. With regard to the time frame, you know, none of my eight clients were timing the events of that night. The sheriff's office attorney Larry Wilder refutes Wagner's statements. There's all they're trying to do is figure out a way to set a narrative that supports their ability to get money from the taxpayers of Clark County. Again, the department's attorney says they deny any and all claims of sexual assault at this time. While the plaintiff's attorney said the surveillance footage doesn't provide much clarity on that night, given his clients say they were assaulted in the dorm and bathroom areas of the block of which there are no surveillance cameras. Now, at the bottom of the webpage, Sheriff Noel writes, quote, we, may, we have many, many more myths that we will bust on this fact check website. And quote, though it's uncertain when the next update could come, I'll have a deeper look uh, for sure. We'll be, this is a story we'll be following for sure, guys. Connor, thank you very much. Now, in the months since the initial suits were filed, the officer accused of providing that key has been fired and faces criminal charges. There's also been growing support for the alleged victims. Just Monday, the Clark County, Indiana Democratic Party gathered right here at the courthouse in a show of solidarity. In response to that event, Sheriff Noel confirmed his office is investigating alongside the FBI and the U.S. Marshals and added that he will work swiftly to fight back against what he is calling the misinformation in this case.